everybody knows the waterfall model like the first phase is requirement where actually the client you sit with the client understand or uh, the product what is actually required for a particular new feature which we have to deliver then you do a design so it each is separated by a proper phase so now second phase is start which is design where you do all the system design related stuff and like how you are the new ask new feature right it's gonna look like then ultimately you start the implementation which is your nothing but you started the coding and once done that you do a proper testing then you deploy it in live deploy and then you have to do maintenance so this is used to be a waterfall model and now let's say that you got one project one big project one big project and which during requirement design implementation testing and it might take six months right till you reach there now after six months when it goes to the live deploy and you are now doing the maintenance what if client say that hey i need certain change in that hey this is not the ask which i got there is some misunderstanding right so the major problem with that is that client is only involved at last once the requirement phase is completed client is no more involved in this phase and the third phase is that at each step there is a knowledge transfer required but the positive side is this is very easy to understand very simple each steps is properly segregated now here comes the agile now let's say a project comes a big project come okay now first you did a requirement gathering okay i get the requirement and after the requirement what you do is you do the design again same you do the implement you do testing after testing here one i have added is demo and release so you give the demo and then release it the demo what we will do is internally you can have a demo or you can have with the client or whatever but whatever the feature you are working on you have a demo and then you release it and then you start working on next iteration and it goes on so now you can ask me right hey shans in this step like for one project why multiple times we are doing requirement gathering why multi time multiple time we are doing design multiple time we are doing implement why we are doing that okay so i'll tell you that and what is this sprint so now understand this whenever a big project come right so we try to divide into task task 1 task 2 okay we try to divide it into different tasks task 3 and goes on right so these two are very important independent and demoable so first thing is task 1 and task 2 should be in should not have any dependency okay and the second thing is each task should be demoable now you start with this hey can this be task now here if you see the sprint so generally de facto sprint is happen for 14 days okay some companies might follow 21 days or some 10 days but generally if you see the uh, agile documentation the say that hey de facto somehow everybody follows a 14 days cycle so this cycle is for 14 days okay so now let's say that we are following 14 day sprint cycle so now we see okay in this 14 days in the one cycle can i complete this task now let's say that this task itself is big it required at least two cycle means two sprint means let's say 28 days it required so this task has to be further divided into 
सब टास्क वन सब टास्क टू एंड गोज ऑन लेट से दैट दिस सब टास्क कैन बी कंप्लीटेड इन वन स्पीड यस सो यू कैन पिक दिस टास्क सो नाउ वंस यू पिक दिस टास्क you do a proper requirement for this hey what exactly needed in this task now let me do so you understand it better you might set up meeting with your product or right if required client you understand that hey i picked this sub task what exactly has to be done now you do requirement gathering you do the design for this sub task one you implement it you test it and then you do demo within your team outside the team right or with your clients and once they provide a sign off either you improve it right or after that if they are good you release it and once done the next iteration is started in the next iteration or when i say next iteration means next sprint you might pick some other sub task so this is you pick at a sprint 1 this you pick at a sprint 2 and goes on and maybe after let's say sprint 4 total sub tasks are completed means after 2 months your task one is completed so now here if you see that even for completing one so one task even though you took 2 months but in this 2 months four cycles has been you have iterated in this four cycle four feature four independent features you have released already you have four times you have shown the demo to the client you have taken the feedback and you have either have improved it and you have released it also so this is where the biggest advantage of agile is that it's fast means we are delivering the feature in the market more quicker maybe it's not totally usable so in some case in some cases it might be but the small small features are going live and the second most advantage is the client is involved at each task because you are giving the demo taking the feedback either improve it or after improving it or if they are okay you are releasing it okay another thing is if there are multiple task which are independent which one to pick first which one to pick second there is also something called that priority setup for each task what happen is we set up a priority hey this is one priority one this is let's say priority two this is priority three this is priority four so now you have picked task two first because it's priority one feature or you can say that priority one task now if this task two is big you divide into sub task now in this sub task also there are multiple can be done in like independent then you also do here priority also hey this is priority 1 this is priority 2 so let me pick that so as a group in a team you set up a priority for each task for each task for each task we have to give a story point like some follow days so 14 days right 1 2 3 4 like till 14 okay if i give a story point as 6 means my out of 14 6 days i will required to complete this sub task so means i have a bandwidth of another uh, you can say that 8 days some other task i can it can be assigned to me so as a team you all gather and you decide the story point for each sub task 